Hi friends, welcome to free online tech videos. In this video session, we are going to see about DD command. DD command means a disk dump. This is used to create the images or copy the hard disk content to the one hard disk to another hard disk or measuring the disk I/O performance or taking some image backups and restoring imaging backup from one location to another location so it is very useful without having a files like uh, you do not have a much tb of files but you wanted to generate some and test some disk io you can use this dd command okay let's start here how this dd command works okay i am going to show you that i have few disks in this SDF, SDE, SDC, SDD, SDB. Okay, these are the disks I am going to work with this DD command. Okay, before jumping into this command, I am going to quickly create one partition, standard partition into the SDB. Okay, SDB, and I am just going to create primary partition and the entire um, size is allocated to that partition. Okay. I am just going to call the kernel update. Now partition has been created. I am just going to make the part size like uh, sdb1. Okay, file is also created. I am just going to mount that sdb1 to slash mat. So the files are there because it is already created the, the before version. That's why there are some files. Okay. Now I'm going to slash db okay sorry slash mnt and I'm going to create some files here touch uh, testing one to hundred okay something like this dot txt files and there are some files created and I'm going to unmount that partition now unmounted and dd the source location okay input files and slash dv slash sdb and the output file or the destination file is slash dv slash sdc okay and i'm just going to verify that the status okay what is the status is going on in the background we would like to see the status using a progress status progress command enter now it is going to show you that how much it's going to copy and uh, how much the data is going to be finished okay it's going to finish like 5 mb is finished and it is copying with uh, 63 mbps speed okay so it was 1 gb drive and how many records are in and out copied and 1.1 gb is entirely copied with the 67.6 mbps and with 15.8.9.31 seconds this is the measured from the dd command now we are going to see that yeah this iphone l slash dv slash sdcu sdc and you can see that there is a partition is created for sdc1 with the existing data so now we are going to mount that sdc1 to the slash media directory and go to that media directory and see that there are the files so what are the files i have created the files as it is they copied from sdb1 to sdc okay that is the disk dump which is used to uh, copy the files or the mirror the disk from one disk to another location using the dd command now you can also use the create the disk image using the dd command okay input file equal to slash dv slash sdc okay i'm going to use sdc and output file is going to be stored under slash tmp slash um, sdc image dot img file okay and status equal to progress so now 
it's going to be show me the stored status as well so how much 1.1 GB is copied with the 254 Mbps speed okay the image has been created with the 1.1 Mbps you can also use the same command but you can compress the file using the zzip okay so here output file instead of giving the output file what you can do is that zzip okay send that output file to the temp location with the dot image dot zz file so what it's going to do is that it's going to zip the compress the image file okay sorry in this there is no status works okay it's going to be created the image file and uh, there is no status command works here and it's going to give you the progress and see that so 101 mbps which is used to copy okay and the disk image is created like this you can also use this zip command to zip the file and create the image so the disk image can be restored in a different way okay so the input file you have to give that uh, image path which image path and destination would be okay the destination path output file equal to slash dv slash sd d maybe sd d you can you can also restore like this so you have this like an l and you can use that sdd and it will show you the information of that partition so that image sorry the image can be stored thus here we have to give the image file of here where is that image file is stored into this one the image file and provide the slash std partition so the image file is going to be restored to slash std if it is a zip file then you have to uncompress and restore to the another partition size okay so that is going to be used by gzip command okay this is the image and now you can type the again std command the partition has been created and you can go to that partition and see that there are the files which is copied from the the disk image file as it is everything will be as it is okay if you have taken the compressed files okay decompress the file using the slash um, d gzip slash dg dc and provide that zip file path the compressed file path and pass to the dd command output file output equal to slash dv slash sdf so it's going to be restored to the sdf path like this you can take the image file path and you can also use the restoration to the disk entire disk to disk actually so there is no active file system is running on the disk so it uses that disk to copy the entire thing to that disk uh, you can also take some partition backup partition clone okay using the input file equal to slash dv slash sdb1 something like this and output file equal to slash dv slash sdf1 okay which means that cloning the partition to another partition and provide this bytes byte size 4096 i'm going to provide the uh, 4096 bytes and conversion rate no error and continuously seeing the partition and if you want to see that status equal to progress so this is going to be copy the entire thing that it's cloned that sdb1 to sdf1 like that is going to be cloned if you want to take this and uh, 
take the MBR partition backup and you can restore the MBR partition backup. You can also use dd if input file or to slash d slash sda1 sda because this is the first partition so you have to provide first partition first sector the MBR is going to be stored. So I am going to say that output file is going to be stored into the uh, slash tmp mm, and uh, mbr file dot image file i'm going to store and the byte size i'm going to provide okay maybe what is the byte size is 512 512 byte size the mbr size is 512 bytes okay count how much count you want to so how many times count if you give two count which is 512 bytes plus 512 bytes but i'm going to give the count is one then the status equal to progress then it's going to show me the progress so one record which is 512 bytes copied within the 40 second kbps within the 0.010658 seconds that's the mbr copy so you can also restore the mbr copy in the same way but the input file would be image and output file would be in a destination path okay so that's that's about the creating the mbr partition backup and uh, restoring the backup to the another partition but do not try this to the same restoration path which may be corrupt your mbr okay you should be very very careful on that okay so how you you have to do d uh, input file okay slash dv slash sdd i'm going to give sdd output file would be what is that slash tmp sorry i'm going to restore the file right so we have to give the source is tempo file and mbr file and output file would be slash dv slash sdd something like this so it's going to restore your mbr partition mbr from this image to std it is restore like that you can take the mbr copy so this is the very important actually you can take the mbr copy mbr backup and store it somewhere else sometimes your mbr is corrupted or something is happened to your partition then you can simply revert back that changes okay or uh, you can also generate uh, the master boot record okay master boot record to display the master boot record information you can also use the dd command in the bytes okay dd in the same way if equal to slash av slash sda and output file is going to be something uh, anything file name dot image okay and bytes equal to 512 bytes and count equal to 1 okay and you can also use od command to provide see that information okay mb sorry file dot image file this is the information of all what the file has been copied from or how the master boot record is information is created and displayed create also some fixed size information example dd which is useful for uh, testing your io information io performance slash the ev example say i am just using the zero in the sense it just create the files I am to delete the files immediately and the file one something like this and the bytes equal to how many bytes you wanted to create the example uh, 10 MB or 20 MB something like this okay uh, 104857600 this is equal to 10 MB in bytes okay count equal to 1 or count equal to 2 or uh, 10 MB into 100 is going to be 
or 10, 10 into 10 equal to 100 MB, which is going to write into the 0 slash the input is slash the with 0 and output equal to file 1 or output I am going to give you maybe something like slash tv slash uh, sdf1 and it's going to be write that information to that and verify that how much bytes are created 105 mb copied and with how much speed it is giving 936 mbps like that you can generate a large files maybe 100 files and verify that how much is copying like that you can also use a number of uh, fixture size files generate on that blocks you can also use a number of count files or different different file types like that okay the count will be something like this is bytes right so bytes will be calculated into 1024 into 1024 like this okay so it is bytes so if you use 1024 it is be converted into the kbs and 1024 it is converted into the mb again if you use 1024 it is converted into the gb like this you can convert the DD using the ed command you can test it up take the backup these to the backup you can do a number of things using the dd command but be careful using the partitions correctly because if you use the partitions differently then your system is going to be done in a sense it's cleanly wiped off thanks for watching stay tuned for more updates please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions, you can ask.